I am Jeffrey Villardwen and the fourth episode of my Rachmid campaign right after denying peace to Haimia. Arabian rebels are besieging Dumata. Our general Mutid has only a handful of men in his command and he has to rely on the garrison of the city. One good aspect of this campaign, whether by accident or by design, is that there have been countless battles, many of them with the odds against us, like this one. The rebel leader Al Kama has been raiding the country around Dumata. Civilians see his men approaching the city. They alert the garrison. The rebels are setting the outskirts of the city alight. Their cavalry is now entering Dumata. They are entering from two directions. One force is entering from the east and an additional force here is approaching from the south under fire from our tower. The group of rebels approaching from the east head straight for the governor's palace in the center of Dumata. They come under fire from our missile units and have to fall back. The other half of the garrison is manning the walls on the south side of the palace and there they begin to shoot arrows at the approaching enemy cavalry. The units coming from the south are also under fire from our mounted javelin men and they have been engaged by melee cavalry who has pinned them down. The enemy general is here and he has engaged our melee cavalry on the other side, near the blue wall, near those merchant stalls. And here's another view now looking towards the precinct of the palace. Here's the enemy general's bodyguard engaged with our melee cavalry. On the far right in the background are our mounted javelin men. They are firing at their backs. Here are some uh, renegade Roman legionaries fighting with the rebels, they have been routed. Back to the fighting on the other side, you can see the power balance, the odds are still against us. Some light spear infantry have come to support their general, the fighting outside the palace is intense, there are dead bodies littering the streets, fire arrows fired at the attackers, here are archers are firing from the walls, enemy armored camel cavalry is attacking us, where did they find this heavy armor? Our army doesn't have such heavy armor, the rebels do. They're under heavy fire from our archers. And the streets are littered with dead men and dead horses. And finally, the enemy armored Kamal cavalry are in trouble. They begin to run away. Now they seem to be on the retreat. The enemy on this side is practically defeated. 
our mounted javeliners come closer the enemy infantry wavers they're running and the battle on the south side has been decided however on the northern side there are still some enemy skirmishes firing and they decide to run off as well the rebels have been crashed they're abandoning Dumata hopefully that's the last rebels we will see attacking the city our cavalry is chasing them down and lo and behold something we had forgotten about the enemy had eight ballista they are now firing at our cavalry as they are chasing the routed infantry our cavalry bypasses the uh, ballista of the rebels more cavalry comes out of Dumata they also bypass the ballista and then they swing about, they turn around and attack the crews of the ballista in melee and that will be the end of them So the enemy rebel crews are now running, they are being chased by our cavalry. They seem to be decent runners, it's hard work to keep up with them. And some peasants are running about as well. And here's our glorious general Moted victorious celebrating his victory in the field of battle so that was a relatively easy victory we only lost 140 men the enemy army of more than 1000 men have been destroyed and Dumata once again has been relieved from another attack some rebels survive perhaps they will come back their general Al Kama however has been killed in battle on the downside so much money has been spent to raise armies that there is a famine now in uh, Arabia Magna. Once again, our enemy rebel leader has been killed. Famine. War has been declared between Aksum and Haimia. We have now someone to help us in our wars. There's been a heroic victory against the rebels once again. Mortid has gained uh, household an artist to help him out and he has gained rank in his reconnaissance skills Rebia Felix is also on the verge of starvation in particular Zafar has many expensive buildings so they will have to be dismantled here are more rebels there have been uh, rebellions around Zafar from uh, Haimea rebels constant continual rebellions our king had to march out several times to quash these rebellions we have very few friends perhaps by design or by chance perhaps that's how the company I works we have practically no allies we have one trade partner and uh, Dumata is besieged once again 
the rebels have come back. I will not show this battle, it wasn't as difficult as the previous one. The rebels were once again defeated. A decisive victory by the heralds of Aliatu and our general Mortaid is once again victorious a decisive victory Mortaid the enemy rebel was also called Mortaid he's been slain the Lachmids are now bankrupt the men are deserting our armies nonetheless we have reached the next level of Imperium after taking Zafar. Rebellion is imminent in Arabia, Felix. Arabia the joyful is not so happy, it would seem. The state of unrest has hurt Prince Mundia's popularity, but our king favors him by appointing him Castellan. Zafar gets a new governor, a general named Hal Karib. Hymerite cultural buildings in Zafar are being destroyed to improve public order and conserve food. There has been yet another attack on Dumata by rebels. This rebellion was easily quashed with the loss of only 40 men. Morty, the general, and Dumata has gained further reconnaissance skills and his small army, the heralds of Aliado, have gained rank. The Hymerite Mishnah house in Zafar has been demolished. King Newman has hired a bejeweled minister with a university degree in civil engineering research. We are developing specialized cultivation to improve the situation with food shortages. King Newman announces an edict on military fervor, increasing army recruitment capacity, replenishment and religious influence in Arabia, Felix. Let us now turn our attention to diplomacy. We have no allies and just one trade partner, the Sassanid Empire. There are some countries we have good relations with, but that's about all. This is our empire in yellow. Friendly countries are in green. Neutral countries here in gray, enemies in red. And so in brown are the regions owned by us. In red is our public order, not as good as it could have been. Here's the religion situation. We have a lot of Eastern Christianity mixed with other religions. The food situation is not great, especially in Arabia. Felix, fertility is dire. After all, we're in the desert. And that was the end of episode four. Thank you for watching.